Hi, this is Dr. Manisha Dikshit from Pranayata Ayurveda. Today is Doctor's Day and I was invited today as a speaker in Senior Citizen Association, Hyderabad by President Ma'am uh, Dr. Shobha and by Vice President Dr. Mr. Lingaredi. So I was highly thankful to all these dignitaries to invite me in this session and here are some glimpses of my speech in this session. Normally elderly people suffer from many diseases due to stressful life style and improper diets to do. Especially in this age, we have anxiety, insomnia, depression, uh, joint pain, constipation, gas formation, memory loss. There are some common problems and the main common problem is loneliness. Today is in this talk, I will try to cover all these things about diet, meditation, yoga and some home remedies for you uh, to get rid of all uh, these diseases. Actually, Ayurveda is based on Vat Pitta Kapha theory. And uh, in our lifespan, we have aggravation of uh, these doshas at different kalas or different time. In childhood time, uh, the main dosh is Kapha. And at the time of the adolescent, then the main dosh is Pitta. And in old age, Vata is aggravated. So, to pacify Vata, it is required to everyone to massage every day with any Vatnasha oil or you can say sesame oil or Mahanarayan oil or Panchagun oil. These oils are very beneficial for joint pain also. If you have vata aggravation, these oils are also very good. So, I just want to include one more thing that uh, uh, nowadays we discuss about tre upistam. The first one is the diet. So, how can you manage your diet in your daily regime? Because uh, the food we eat every day, it is not very good. It is full of insecticides, pesticides or it is not pure. So why has food become a poison nowadays? 70% of all illnesses like hypertension, cholesterol, heart diseases, kidney problems, liver problems, obesity, these all problems are due to wrong kind of food or preparing food in a wrong way. So best methodology is to treat yourself is not a medicine but to cure yourself with food. So think about it. Why are you getting unhealthier day by day? What is the best food for your, you and uh, how can we divide our diet according to dosha, kala, and biological rhythm or you can say circadian rhythm in ayurveda it is called as dietary regime or you can say seasonal regime a day contains 24 hours and uh, uh, the main kala or the main time of 2 to 6 am is the time of vata dosha and after that 6 to 10 am it is a time of Pitta Dosha and 10 to 2 a.m. it is a time of Kapha Dosha and same thing goes on rest of the day. For example, 2 to 6 p.m. is the time of the again Vata, 6 to 10 p.m. is the time of Pitta and 10 to 2 a.m. is again the time of Kapha. So the 24 hour is divided into Vat Pitta Kapha theory. We can start our day with some morning exercises, meditation and pranayama. It is uh, the best time for exercises or pranayama is 6 to 7 a.m. Because it is a time of the vata. Uh, you will see that the joint pain problem is mainly in the morning, morning hours. And when you uh, do some physical exercises, you can pacify this vata problem. 
and after the exercise it is beneficial to take a detox drink like uh, pumpkin you can uh, take pumpkin or uh, juice or cucumber juice or bottle gourd juice for this you can take uh, 100 gram of uh, anything in pumpkin or cucumber or uh, bottle gourd is grind it in a mixer grinder squeeze it and mix 5 to 7 leaves of tulsi patra and 9 to 11 leaves of mint churn it well and uh, mix some uh, rock salt and black pepper in it it really very energizing drink and detoxify your body a cleans your body and after that the time for breakfast which is best time uh, is 9 to 10 am start your day with fresh fruits some soaked nuts uh, which helps to uh, cure your protein deficiency or some sprouted grains you can take uh, some almonds or uh, pistachios raisins and if you like you can try some khumani some figs etc and the best time of lunch should be 1 to 2 pm we should finish our lunch up to 2 pm because it is the best time of our metabolism it is a pitta kal 10 to 2 pm with a balanced diet you can fill your plate half of uh, salad and uh, one fourth part with a carbohydrate diet and one fourth part with the protein diet and in evening if you are feeling a real hunger yes uh how i say it is a real hunger because there are some rules of the nature according to ayurveda ayurveda says eat food only when you experience hunger or you can say real hunger when we take lunch at 2 pm and after that at 4 or 5 pm if any uh, anyone ask with us uh, you need something then we answer yes it is a time of tea and snacks actually the mindset is like that we want something after 2 3 hours but we have to determine that it is a time of real hunger or not if you really want some drink you can try some ginger lemon lemon grass honey tea it is a uh, actually lemon grass it is an antioxidant and anti aging if you take 2 uh, uh, inches long lemon grass piece with a ginger because ginger has the property of digestion then you feel highly energetic and at last it is a time of dinner and uh, uh, lunch uh, after that is uh, dinner time uh, you will take your dinner at 7 to 8 pm maximum 7 to 8 pm so you have at least 2 hours to digest your food and after the dinner the second pillar of ayurveda is the proper sleep if you sleep up to 10 pm it is the best time because 10 to 2 pm 10 pm to 2 am it is the time of kapha kapha dosha and it is the time to relax your body and mind at this time our liver works to cleanse the toxins in our body if you sleep late we have less time to clean your body and one more part uh, i want to include in this that when whenever elderly people came to me and they say they are suffering from many problems like insomnia and uh, anxiety depression and dementia then it is not a very uh, tedious problem to cure insomnia here i will uh, share some tips for insomnia patients do anulom vilom pranayam at the time of the sleep because anulom vilom pranayam increases your beta endorphins in your body 
and decreases your stress hormone level and the second one is the bhamari pranayam which is also very very beneficial because it uh, el uh, eliminates toxins from your heart it creates nitrous oxide and nitrous oxides produces new collaterals in our heart or you can say in our body so do uh, anulom vilom and bhamari pranayam for 5 to 10 minutes at the time of the sleep and the second thing is uh, foot massage or padhavyang uh, you can use uh, mahachandanadi oil for the padhavyang it is very cool cooling and soothing in nature and uh, when you meditate or uh, do some pranayam uh, the sleep is sleep will be good and the second the third one is you can try a one point this is uh, the finger you can say it is a little finger and this is ring finger this is the point at the tip of the ring finger if you press this point 10 to 15 times at the time of the sleep like this it cures insomnia. You can try this in day to day life. And uh, the fourth one is you can try some uh, Jatamansi or Ashwagandha powder. You can take 2 2 gram of each. If uh, you have hypertension, it is also beneficial to take Jatamansi and Ashwagandha powder at the time of the sleep. So try these things. And uh, you will find within 15 days, uh, the problem of insomnia, insomnia get cured. And the second thing is the, the I normally uh, saw in the people is dementia or the memory loss. Dementia is the inability of the brain to function uh, properly. Alzheimer's disease is the most common form of dementia. It is a neurological problem in which the person finds difficulty to recognize the people he knows and uh, uh, also unable to remember recent activities and patients are highly emotional and needs assistance in their daily activities. So there is gradual fall in the neurotransmitters in the brain and causes loss of connections in uh, brain functions. So for uh, dementia or uh, Alzheimer's disease, you can try some things, uh, put some, soak some almonds, 7 to 8 almonds at night and uh, peel off in morning and take these almonds, empty stomach. It increases your memory. And the second one, use Nasya. Nasya or uh, in Ayurveda, you can say nasal inhalation or nasal insufflation. In this empty stomach you can put two drops of sesame oil or cow ghee in your nostrils in your both nostrils it can cure insomnia dementia or tinnitus it is very beneficial to take nasya daily and third one use more turmeric in your food actually turmeric has curcumin alkaloid which is uh, antioxidant in nature and also has anti-aging properties and uh, you can try some uh, sweet potatoes and cabbages in your diet if you have the problem of the dementia you can also try some uh, peppermint oil or lemon oil as a diffuser in your room because when uh, the fragrance of these oil is spread, spread in your room it enhances your hormonal function. So, these are some uh, points for the insomnia and dementia. Now, the last part is the salvation or you can say Brahmacharya. As I said earlier, according to Ayurveda, retirement means retirement from the materialistic world. We should spend our time to helping others and to fulfill our hobbies also. Sometimes if you feel lonely, watch around the world and watch around the nature. Try to help uh, other persons 
uh, who are uh, needy or uh, you can say uh, who require your help in this video i have explained some common problems related to the elderly people if you like the video share it subscribe my channel and don't forget to press bell icon thank you